The founder of healthcare technology startup Theranos has been sentenced to more than 11 years jail. Elizabeth Holmes was the darling of Silicon Valley, promising to revolutionise the industry with new blood testing technology. But it was all a scam. Elizabeth Holmes was the founder of a multi-billion dollar blood testing business who was bleeding investors of cash. Is there anything that you want to say to the uh, investors and the patients who have such faith in you? After smiles and hugs at a Californian court, the entrepreneur, who said they don't put pretty people like me in jail, was told she would serve more than 11 years for defrauding the likes of Rupert Murdoch. Holmes started Theranos when she was 19. You all are part of something that is going to change our world. What higher purpose is there? Claiming this technology could perform hundreds of tests from just a few drops of blood. Was it a sophisticated piece of machinery? No, there were components that would kind of fall off in the middle of testing. Staff blew the whistle and when questions were raised, Holmes hit back. This is what happens when you work to change things and first they think you're crazy, then they fight you and then all of a sudden you change the world. She vowed to prove her technology worked but never did. The now 38-year-old's rise and fall has grabbed headlines and the attention of TV producers. Anybody who doubts my company, doubts me. Today, through tears, Holmes said, I have felt deep pain for what people went through because I failed them. Was there any remorse? Was there any regret? No. Unapologetic. Holmes is pregnant with her second child and is expected to start her sentence after she gives birth. As for the more than $1 billion raised from investors, a judge will decide how much should be paid back. In the United States, Jonathan Kersley, Nine News.